Cassie and Faith with your Channel 3 News. Last night, President Trump delivered his State of the Union address. Trump appealed for bipartisanship but refused to yield on hardline immigration policies. He renewed his call for a border wall and cast illegal immigration as a threat to American safety and economic security. Trump's guests for the speech included Alice Marie Johnson, a woman whose life sentence for a drug offense was commuted by, president, by the president, and Joshua Trump, a sixth grade student from Wilmington, Delaware, who had been bullied over his last name. Looming over the president's address was a fast approaching February 15th deadline to fund the government and avoid another shutdown. You are invited to attend the Mr. Mini Fun Pageant on February 8th at 7 p.m. in the high school auditorium. The cost is $3 for students and $5 for adults. The crowning of Mr. Mini Thon 2019 is all FTK. Quill and Scroll is selling Valamim candy grams this Friday through today during ANC lunches. Memes are $1 each and will be distributed during Valentine's Day on 4A. You can send up to 10 memes. All proceeds go towards Minithon. On Tuesday, February 12th, during AFLEX, Wilson College will be here to meet with any student interested in finding out more about the college. If you are interested in signing up for the visit, please log on to Naviance Top Tab Colleges and Event Registration or stop by the Counseling Office. Gears Liter Literary Magazine is coming out with our Spring Edition and they are looking for your submissions. To submit your writing for the Spring Edition magazine, please send a link through your school Gmail account to abrennan20 at bigspring.org. To submit your art, photography, paintings, drawings, sculptures, etc., please send a link through the, the, your school account to csarnicki at bigspring.org. Please make sure to vote for the PSA created by Maddie Seiler and Alyssa Succi for the PAYSPI contest. Check your email, the newsroom Facebook page, or our Twitter feed to find this link to vote. Scroll down and vote for their video, which is 2019 32nd Video A. Voting ends on February 7th. You can submit your poetry, prose, and photography to The Apprentice Writer and earn a chance to win $200 and be published in the magazine. This is published by the Writers Institute at Susquehanna University and dedicated to show, showcasing their creativity of high school students. The submission period runs through March 15, 2019. For submissions guidelines, please go to the link below. The Spanish word of the week is el en verano, which means winter. A fun fact you might want to know about winter is that the snowiest city on earth is in Japan. Amore City in northern Japan receives more snowfall than any major city on the planet. Each year, citizens are pummeled with 312 inches, or about 26 feet of snow on average. Now here's to Austin with your sports. And I'm here with your Channel 3 News. Upcoming sports. Today, the swim team takes on Trinity away at 6 p.m. Tomorrow evening, basketball plays Boiling Springs. Boys JV is at home at 6. Boys Varsity is away at 6. Sports scores. Boys Varsity basketball lost to Waynesboro 62-57. JV boys lost to Waynesboro 64-31. Girls Varsity beat Waynesboro 35-11. Girls JV beat Waynesboro 33-11. Boys Girls swimming beat Susquehanna Township 108 to 63. Boys swimming beat Susquehanna Township 124 to 52. Just hearing that there's breaking news from the cafeteria. Allison, what can we do to fix this? The only way to cure this epidemic is to join a team and pick up a packet in room 337. Oh, sp spring sports physicals. High school physicals will take place in the high school nurse's office, beginning approximately at 10:15. Turn in your packet to, be a th to the athletic office by February 20th. If you don't turn one in, you cannot get a physical. 
If you have already participated in a fall or winter sport, just turn in Section 7 to the office. Also, also your emergency contact sheets are due prior to, prior to or on the first day of spring sports as well. And to Haley with your weather. I'm Haley and this is your weather. Yesterday's official high reached 64 degrees. Today will bring more, th more rain chances after lunchtime and continue into tonight and early Thursday. Highs will be cooler today in the lower 40s. Between tomorrow, Thursday, and early Friday, around half an inch of rain is expected. The weekend looks sunny and dry. Next week, a storm is brewing and that could bring some rain and or snow to the area Monday and Tuesday. And now, let's take it over to Ethan Miller with some Valentine's Day trivia. Statistically, a woman who purchases flowers on Valentine's Day is most likely to buy them for A, herself, B, her mother, C, her sister, D, her significant others. The answer is A. Students who took mass media during the fall semester collected their favorite funny moments. First day! <laughs> they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. We're sweating storm in here. Ooh. Can you stop dropping it? See, Tavis.org. Uh, the deadline for all application is Jan January 18th. <laughs> Initiatives at your school? The mass media? <laughs> I'm still laughing about the kebabish. <laughs> 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 Stop it! Hey, Big Spring, I'm Mason, and I'm here with your weather. Don't shoot. Who's that for? Is it me? Because <laughs> I'm on the spoke class. If that means it would be you, I think. Come on, my my birthday. Oh. Oh. I be flossing. Are y'all ready, kids? Welcome, Big Spring, to the high school. Can I start? What are you doing? <laughs> what just happened? Can we start filming already? Herbie! Check out our articles at bhspawprint.com. Follow us on Facebook at BHS Newsroom, Twitter at BHSCH3, and our Snapchat code is BHS Mass Media. You can also sign up and receive text and message alerts for important announcements by texting BSHANN to 81010. This has been Faith. And this is Cassie with your Channel 3 News.